welcome back to my channel. I've done a tutorial for you today on the look that I'm currently wearing. I've gone for an all matte look today, which I haven't done in ages. I feel like I always just shove a bit of shimmer in my eye or a bit of sparkle because I'm sucker for a sparkly eye. But I forgot how much I love just a matte eye look. I feel like it looks so chic and so soft. So I'm loving today's look and it's also really easy to do. If you want to know how to recreate this look, then all you have to do is keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get into the video. Starting off with my last foundation in the shade Mont Blanc and my um, Sigma Flat Kabuki, which is the F80, to apply this to my face and blend it out. As usual, a couple of pumps on the back of my hand and then lightly putting this all over my face and then um, from here I'm going to blend it in as well. Just adding an extra on the roof. Next I'm going to use this um, concealer, which I'm actually using for the first time so I'm excited to see how it applies and how it dries. <laughs> I'm a poet. So it's the YSL Radiant Touch Concealer and I guess it's in the shade 1. But it just looks like this and you just pump the end and the concealer comes out at the top. It feels soft on my hand anyway. So. So I'm just going to apply a bit of this underneath my eyes and because this is a more natural, nudey, matte daytime look, I'm not going to go crazy with the concealer today. So I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes around my nose um, and a little bit on my chin and forehead and then I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend in. I'm really excited to use this. It's like a pen. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Oh, it's a bit pink. I actually love using this little wandy thing to apply it. It's really cute. You can always blend it with the stick as well when you've applied it. So I actually really like it. I'm just going to pop a tiny bit. It's supposed to be like a glowy, radiant skin one. So I'm just going to put some up here as well. I'm excited to see how it blends out. So... So I also just love YSL products. So just damping my beauty sponge a touch and blending it out. And as always, getting my Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier loose setting translucent powder at the ready to go in straight away and set my concealer. So um, using a damp beauty sponge just leaves your concealer looking more flawless um, and um, it doesn't cake up at all. So it's fab! Oh, I love this concealer. It really is like glowy and satin and quite luminous. And it's a really light coverage, so it doesn't look cakey at all. But at the same time, I think it does a good job at hiding particular things under there that you want to hide, you know? Next, I'm going to set that with the powder. I'm going to lightly set the rest of my face as well using the same powder and just a big fluffy blending brush. This will just give the makeup a nice finish and look more matte. To prime my eyes today, I'm going to use, or to prime my lids, I should say, I'm going to use my NARS concealer and this is in the shade light 2 aka vanilla so I'm just going to put a bit of this on the lids blend it in with my beauty sponge again and then I'm going to set it again with my um, powder because I want a powdery finish on the lids um, because it's going to make doing the powdery eyeshadows a lot easier To set the lids, I'm going to use my tapered highlighter brush by Sigma, which is the F35, and the same powder. And I'm just going to pad this powder onto the lids. And then just wipe away any excess as well. I'm going to leave my face 
for now and move on to my eyes which um, to be honest is always the bit I enjoy doing the most. I haven't fully decided of what I'm doing yet you know. So I'm going to start off with a big blending brush. The one I'm going to use is my JH30 and today I'm going to be using this little MAC um, palette which I put together. So this is Corduroy Texture Wedge and probably vanilla, I think. So I'm just gonna dip in first of all with the lightest brown as a kind of transition-y color. So I'm gonna put this into the um, brow section really lightly. So I'm gonna slowly build up the color here. So kind of just in small circular motions, keeping my eyelid taut at all times to apply this as a kind of light wash all over the brow bone. And then going lightly back and forward as well. Next I'm gonna to swap to a smaller blending brush. So the one I'm gonna use is the JH33 and I'm gonna pick up some of this core joy and I'm gonna basically apply this um, in the crease and as kind of a V shape. So mainly darkening up this outer corner here. Again, just being really light handed with it. So picking up a tiny bit of product, tapping off and then really lightly applying it and blending it straight away. And kind of bringing it out a bit as well here to give kind of a natural um, wing effect with the shadow. in with the blending brush that I started with just to make sure that it's fully blended out. I haven't actually put any more product on this blending brush. I'm just helping with the blending. Next I'm going in with a flat brush and the one I'm going to use is my MAC 230 and I'm going to use this to just basically pack on this orangey shade which I love, I literally love, 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 love this colour and it's called Texture. So I'm going to pack this all over the lid. I'm going to swap back to my JH33 and I'm going to continue applying this texture in the crease which is going to help the two shades fully really blend together. Then on a clean JH32 I'm going to pick up the white shade in the palette and I'm just going to apply this just below my brow to just kind of clean up this bit up here. Next I'm going to go in with the Shimmery Bronze Eye Pencil by Charlotte Tilbury just to create a feline flick on the top that's a bit more soft than um, and like matte than if I were to just use a um, gel liner. So mainly just deepening up this um, complete outer section of where the shadow ends just really softly and really lightly. And you can stretch your eyelid back a tiny bit just to make sure that there are no creases while you're doing this. They're just being really light handed with it so it's really soft.
on this really small, um, kind of like, really small brush, um, which is the JH40. I'm going to go in, so I'm going to use these two um, all the way along the lower lash line, but really lightly and really um, kind of blend it out. And then I'm just joining it to the upper lashes as well. And then just swapping back to this bigger brush, I haven't put anything else on it, but just to make sure it's fully blended out. Next, I'm going to go back in with the eye pencil that I used on the top. And this time, I'm just going to put it, not in my waterline, but kind of where my lashes start, just on the lower bit, on the lower bit of my eye. Just really lightly. And mainly on the outer half as well. Again, kind of joining up the top and bottom bits of eyeliner there. Just switching back to, I'm actually going to switch back to the flat brush um, that I used to pack on the orange shade, which is texture. So this one. So I'm just going to switch back to this one to just apply a bit more texture on the lower lash line and also help blend out the um, eyeliner a bit. Just using my finger, I'm going to go back in and apply some of this vanilla. Ooh, just because I want it to be more prominent than I feel like it might be with my finger, yeah. Just to brighten my um, brow bone a touch. But yeah, I'm not going to use a shimmery highlight because I'm keeping this look matte. So I put some mascara on and also put my eyebrows together. So next I'm just gonna use, um, I'm gonna use the JH41, which is this synthetic haired brush and it's a really small one, a little satin satin. So I wanna do an inner corner highlight, but because I am keeping this um, look a matte look, I don't wanna do anything shimmery in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna use colour Strange from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette which is just the matte white in the corner. Yeah that works so I'm just gonna apply that to my inner corners just to brighten those up a touch but yeah keep it matte because that's the look I'm going for today. So just kind of applying it with a pressing motion and then blending it slightly like so and I'm going to apply this as well a bit to my brow bone because um, I used my finger earlier and I didn't really think it worked that well whereas this seems to be working really well just to brighten it up a little bit and a little bit on my cupids there as well and down the bridge of my nose to make that more highlighted so that's it for the eyes. Next, I'm going to bronze up my face and also highlight as well. And again, I'm keeping it a matte look, so I'm not gonna use a shimmery highlighter. But the bronzer and highlighter I'm gonna use is this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which I love. This is um, the bronzer and the highlighter. And the highlighter is very natural, glowy-esque. So I'm gonna apply the bronzer, first of all, in the hollows of my cheeks and along the top of my forehead and um, also underneath my jawline. Making sure that I also go like on my ear. But I love this um, bronzer as well. It's not shimmery or anything. It's a really nice and natural um, tone. So just um, underneath my jaw as well. using my Sigma F35 which is a tapered highlighter brush I'm going to apply the highlighter from this palette so I'm going to just pop this on my cheekbones and as you can see it's a really nice glow but um, it's not exactly like shimmery so it's really soft I really like it I'm just going to apply a tiny bit as well above the um, arches of my brows to get a bit of glow going on up there and down the bridge of my nose as well and on my cupid's bow mm. 
gonna do my lips first and then I'm gonna decide if I want blush and if I do how much. So on my lips I'm going to, I'm gonna use my new and current fave lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury which is Pillow Talk. Um, so it's just this really nice like nudie pink, more pink than nudie colour and um, to line my lips I'm going to use, so I didn't get the lip liner that comes with this um, lipstick, so I'm going to use Saw by MAC which is a very similar like soft pinky colour. Using the same brush that I used to highlight my cheeks with, I'm going to apply some blush. The one I'm going to use is Dandelion by Benefit, and it doesn't really have a particular smell. It's a very soft pink, so I'm just going to lightly, smiling, apply that to the apples of my cheeks. finish off I'm going to spray some Fix Plus by MAC just to kind of bring all the different things together. And while that's drying I'm actually just going to go over the Inner Corner um, highlight slightly just to brighten that up a bit. I'm actually just going to apply a tiny bit of white white eyeliner to my waterline um, on the bottom lashes just to brighten up my eyes a tiny bit. Then just make sure that all my lashes are black. So that's a little trick for you when doing like a dark smoky eye is just to add some white eyeliner on the bottom lash line just to kind of clean it all up, bring it all together, and also make your eyes look a little bit more bright. So there you have the finished look, I hope you like it. I haven't actually worn an all matte eye for a long time. I tend to just like even shove the tiniest bit of shimmer in my eye with my finger in the morning, um, if I don't have much time. And I forgot how much I love a matte eye. I feel like it looks really chic and really soft and really natural. So I'm loving it. Yeah, I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.